Well, are you guys and girls ready for another version of Linux Mint 12? There's a new one out that I just got wind of, and it is called Linux Mint Cinnamon. Mmm, yummy. Well, let's take a look at the website. Okay, the website is cinnamon.linuxmint.com. And it says here basically, Cinnamon, love your Linux, feel at home. Get things, get things done. Now this is just a screenshot here. Traditional layout, advanced features, easy to use, powerful, flexible. And you have two posts here. Cinnamon. Let's see, the first post was December 22nd, 2011. It talks a little bit about, a little bit about this uh, project. Another great project, another great flavor. And then for some reason it goes into somewhat of a long-winded uh, name history of the actual cinnamon the food itself I'm not really sure why this is in here I would want to know more about what brought about uh, the operating system cinnamon versus versus the actual history of cinnamon anyway I'll just leave it at that but uh, you have uh, the ho a home shortcut here news and a download link here and there is a post, an expanded post from Clem Lefebvre. I hope I said that right, Clem from the, uh, he is the creator of Linux Mint. Cinnamon provides core user interface functions for the GNOME 3 desktop, like switching to Windows and launching applications. Cinnamon takes advantage of the capabilities of modern graphics hardware and introduces innovative user interface concepts to provide a visually attractive and easy to use experience. Well, look, Cinnamon is just basically a fork of GNOME 2. All right, enough talking. Let's take a very quick look at Linux Mint Cinnamon. All right, I'm running this inside a virtual box with Linux Mint 11 as the host. Now, what I did, I just basically changed the wallpaper. So let's take a quick look at Cinnamon. Click the menu. And here you have a version of the Mint menu, a nice transparency effect. I love the color, I love the fonts, easy on the eyes, very easy to read. And this is what the shortcut, shortcuts of Cinnamon looks like. Now, is this better, the same or worse than the traditional GNOME 2 shortcut? To be quite honest, I really don't know if it's better or worse but I think Cinnamon sure does look cool. If I click here, now where you would have the normal application GNOME or the GNOME 3 application shortcuts, this has been replaced by a shortcut for Windows and Themes. Now Windows here you have the workspaces, which is fine as you see here. Of course the panel bar at the bottom. Time and date. My different workspaces here. Volume control and sound settings, so on and so forth. You know, I don't know. It, I just had a thought. It maybe it just seems to me that maybe the Linux Mint team is trying to do a little bit too much, or maybe it could just be maybe they don't have enough faith in GNOME 3, at least not right now. Uh, you know, when Ubuntu Unity came along, I know it was a love-hate relationship, and as a Windows dual booter, I said, well, hold on, this really doesn't look bad, and if this thing is not buggy, it can work, and so far Unity has not proven really buggy to me uh, at all. I mean, if, I mean, yeah, maybe a one minor bug here and there, but really Unity has been stable. Uh, GNOME 3, I'm not ready to jump into that kind of operating system yet, but I think Cinnamon looks good. Is it necessary? Quite frankly, I just don't know, which is better. I don't know. You, you tell me. All right, I'll just leave it at that. Just wanted to let you guys know there is Linux Mint Cinnamon. Brand new. Take a look. Let me know what you guys think. Catch you later.